guys, Lieutenant Dan here with a quick video on the progress of my painting. So I wanted to cover all of the miscellaneous things um, like factories, air bases, naval bases, resources, things like that that I've been uh, painting. So, um, you know, this one took a long time for me to figure out what uh, color I wanted to use uh, throughout. Um, you know, I didn't want to have... Um, you know, a lot of different colors. Um, I didn't want necessarily the uh, factories, everything to, you know, really uh, stand out too much. I wanted to kind of blend in with the table. And um, so I kind of settled in on a, uh, a satin, um, I, it's called ivory silk. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a cream. And then I uh, weathered it with some uh, quick shade, uh, strong tone by uh, army painter um just to give it that dirty dirty weathered look and you know i i think it came out great um yeah i've been uh this will be like my second game that i've been playing with these painted pieces and uh you know things it just really looks nice i'll maybe do a flyby on some of the uh, things that are set up on the table now but um, let me just show you the uh, the items that i have uh, that i've painted and uh, so we'll start off with these uh, resource rocks. You know, they I got got these at uh, HBG. You know, they're that uh, they come that that silvery um, I don't know, basically silvery uh, gray rock. Um, all of that did look nice. I just I kind of wanted to have all my you know all the victory things and things that um, I don't know. I just I just didn't want them have uh, didn't didn't want them to be a different color. So I just painted them that um that uh cream color and then, uh, the weathering you know that dirt just i think it looks uh, pretty neat because they do look pretty dirty um kind of random you know looking um then let's uh, see take a look at the um the uh the naval bases you know the only uh i although i do like these and from afar they look great if you zoom up on them which you know you're not going to do the finish uh, looks kind of bad. And the reason is because of the, uh, I got these from Shapeways and they use that, um, it's, it wasn't the smooth uh, plastic uh, or resin. Um, this is it's really rough and, um, but you know, it, it does look good. And um, sorry about that, my dogs are running in and out. But uh, you know, it, the uh, they, they do look good. Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, what I don't like about them is that uh, really rough surface. Um, it looks like a stucco finish at times, but it is what it is, I, you know. All right, and the, uh, I got these, uh, these are the uh, oh, G, the Global War 36 factories. Uh, I bought these, gosh, forever ago. And uh, anyway, I, I just got them whatever color they, they were in and, um, Again, I just put them in that uh, that cream color and weathered them up, um, but they came out, I think, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the uh, the major factories. These look really cool with that uh, quick shade. You know, really dirty in there in between the uh, smokestacks. Brings out a little bit of the uh, the windows and the up at the top of the factory. There, you got that dirtiness going on. So. Pretty neat. Um, the uh, the oil derricks. Um, again, I got these at HPG as well. They these were like gold or something. They were pretty ugly. Um, so uh, with the cream and then putting that uh, quick shade on it, really, I think it's really cool. Um, it's just kind of dirty. You know, I put uh, I put in uh, double stack some magnets in there because I didn't. I was trying to figure out how to attach these to my table. Um, you know, and for those who might not be following along, I, all my pieces are magnetized so that they snap to the table and that makes it uh, really hard for things to fall over. Um, 
but uh, you know that I thought that was a you know not not putting that roundel on there I, I didn't want to take away from the look and the feel of the the old Derek so I think that uh, was a good good option that I did and then you get the uh, the the naval or the uh, air bases and uh, you know some of them are lighter than others which is kind of neat um, and this this too just like those naval bases has that really rough um, texture um, again I you know I uh, you know, if you really look real close to them, you know, it looks like this stucco finish that I don't like. But again, you're not uh, that close. Uh, you're, <laughs> you're pretty far away from them. Um, and if you followed along in the other videos of my painted, uh, like, infantry and things like that, um, I limited the things that I wanted to paint extra. Meaning, um, you'll notice that everything is basically all the same shade, if you will. Um, with no additional paints. I'm not, uh, you know, painting. Um, I'm not an expert and my eyesight's uh, pretty bad. But um, what I did do is I just added some small details that I thought was pretty cool. You can see I put some uh, red lights up top. So I did that on all of them. So, you know, if you're kind of looking around, you'll, you'll, you'll see that little extra detail. Um, it's kind of neat. And then uh, some of my uh, other videos that I've made, I, I was in process of making uh, flight stands, and so this is what it looks like uh, totally finished. Um, this is, uh, I have named the scramble base. Um, so, you know, it holds uh, three fighters or tacks um, or, you know, any planes, but it's just a reminder that, you know, you can have up to three uh, fighters scrambling. You know, if you have the tech, you can, uh, you know, you can have up to uh, six. And in that case, in some some countries like uh, Japan, I have actually two two air bases there. You know, it's like who cares? And then uh, you know you can just attach your uh, your fighters to them. But it's kind of nice. It's just it's like a permanent uh, flight stand, and so you can just kind of uh, leave it leave it in a country. And uh, if you need to uh, pop off a plane to go fly somewhere, you can do so. Um, what I was finding uh, playing a game with uh, Wildcat this uh, past weekend. Um, for the air bases that are in the Pacific, um, we were actually just, uh, if you're flying your aircraft from one island to the next uh, that had a air base, we would just uh, uh, swap out uh, the uh, the air bases so you didn't have to pop the planes off just to save a little bit of time. Anyway, um, so that, uh, that, that was that. So um, let me do a, a, just a quick flyby, maybe you can maybe uh, get a little more appreciation of uh, what I was talking about on, you know, I didn't want uh, things to really pop out too much, but, um, you know, I didn't want it to blend in that much either where you can't, you know, find those things. Um, you know, sometimes you can buy like factories that are the same color as the countries. And to me, that just kind of blends everything all together. Um, uh, but you know, I do want, um, I do want, uh, things to pop out a little bit and but then I also want to have that uh, that dirty look of uh, you know the factories or the naval bases and things like that so you can see a, a resource in Manchuria see the uh, factory in Russia so really happy with uh, how all that turned out all right, so I'm going to talk about the paints and the process. Um, so for those of you who don't uh, care to stick around, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, for those that still want to stick around, uh, just a couple minutes on, on what I did to get my pieces to look like this. Um, so basically, I used um, various paints. So, you, know, you know, I primed everything. So I used this uh, uh, flat gray, gray uh, primer. Uh, by Rust-Oleum. Uh, everybody uses this on their German pieces as their primary color. And then I would uh, let that dry and then I would spray it with this ivory silk uh, from Rust-Oleum, a satin. And then after that dried, um, what I would do is I would use this uh, quick shade. So this quick shade um, is a, a different way to weather your pieces uh, other than how you might have seen from Sire Blood and G.I. Joe and others who use that uh, honey satin polyurethane. Um, 
It's basically doing the same thing. I just didn't like having to dip uh, the pieces in it. In fact, uh, the instructions on this are, it is, it, it does say to dip your pieces, but um, I just didn't like that whole shaking and dabbing it off with a rag and things like that. So I wanted to be able to paint it on. And I uh, watched a video by the Plastic Commando and that's where I got that idea. Well, yeah, I got it from him. And uh, he, he, he showed everybody how to do that. And, and so uh, what I didn't do is, is just put that on uh, full full strength. Uh, what I did was I'd put uh, a couple drops, like uh, maybe, depending on how many I was doing, let's say 20 drops of that paint, uh, that quick shade, I should say, in one of these dimples. And then I would uh, thin it down by using this odorless uh, turpentine. And I would do about uh, anywhere from three to five drops, depending on, uh, you know, depending on the consistency and how much, uh, dirtiness I wanted and um, and then I would just paint it on I'd, I'd paint it on with a brush you know kind of a small brush I didn't have to worry about being really detailed or anything you just kind of paint it all over it uh, let it dry for just I don't know maybe like a minute or so if that and then uh, all the quick shade will uh, settle in and all the crooks and crannies and then that will give you uh, the ability to go back with the paintbrush and and kind of uh, work out uh, where you didn't want uh, things to be uh, over shaded. So you can just kind of wipe it uh, or, you know, brush it or smooth it back out or something like that. And then that's it. Then you uh, just let it paint, uh, let it uh, set uh, overnight, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, sometimes up to two hours, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, up to two days. And um, then after that was uh, dried, it they'll be real shiny. And then what I would do is I would spray them with this anti-shine matte varnish from Army Painter. And this will cut down the shine and it, it, it just really flattens things out. And to me, it really brings out the details um, even more because you, I guess your eyes aren't really looking at that, the shininess. And so it uh, really uh, flattens it all out, but then you're able to see all the, the dirtiness and the crooks and the crannies um, on the pieces. All right. Well, I hope you like this video. Um, uh, stay tuned. I have been doing a lot of painting and I'll have more uh, countries done as the weeks go by. So until then, take care.